So, let's talk about the elk in the room. I'll uh, let myself out. Um, <laughs> the Very funny. Nostarious. <laughs> uh, relaunch, I guess. Um, so, this is a long time coming. I say a long time, but it's a couple months, the whole saga. Um, so, was it a, probably, how long ago? A couple of weeks ago, just after BlizzCon, wasn't it? Where they they started teasing it just before BlizzCon, um, saying a lot of stuff like... Uh, We're going to do something. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly their words. We're going to uh, do something. <laughs> um, so... Looking at, like, did you see the post on Reddit that someone put about Google Trends where it's everyone started talking about it again? Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah. it's interesting because as soon as they announce something, like all the big YouTubers like Nixiom and uh, the rest have completely lost my mind, um, do make videos about it, which brings up even more hype and brings even mm -hmm. more, like, there's more, there's, I, I would probably go as far as to say there's probably more people wanting to play Nostaris now um, that ever played it before. So I think a lot of people, when everything went shit, I think everyone, a lot of people were like, oh crap, I wish I played that sort of thing. So I think it's going to be like insanity. Um, yeah. The big thing they announced, I think, was over the weekend was the release structure. Did you guys see that? Yeah, the, the order they're doing the servers. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. I'm completely with Alex on this one, uh, saying it's oh, such a bad yeah. idea. <laughs> it is a terrible idea. I totally agree. It's got to be all of it at one time, because it, it was chaos before, and it was big. But now right. it's just going to be a flood of people, and you're going to watch those servers go... It's, it's funny, because I saw a post on Reddit where, where the peak of Nostarius, the most uh, people online, was at 13,100, give or take. Yeah. So, and yeah, so... if. <laughs> Yeah, and this time it's going to be gonna like collapse. five times as that. As they should have some really beefy hardware, or else it's just going to fall flat on its ass. But they said they're going to mm. cap it, the population. Yeah, I think so. To what? To how much? I don't know, but people are going to be waiting in queues, which will just frustrate them even more. Yeah, yeah. they've got they've got to allow the the big population load, because otherwise people are going to go. This isn't the Starius. <laughs> this isn't the Starius. And then everyone will go, <laughs> then somebody will make a pretend Nostaria server. <laughs> yeah. Or Kronos will just get overloaded again, because everyone will be like, fuck Nostaria, I'm going to Kronos. <laughs> yeah. And then one or, one or two people that are completely lost go to Primal. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, hey. <laughs> the, um... Hello? I did... Hello? I was watching the uh, Doom House, uh, which are two guys from the uh, north, I guess. Uh, they're great, follow them. Uh, they were saying about Kronos, because they play on Kronos 1, they were saying Kronos 2 is basically um, just like a refugee server, because it launched not too yeah. long after Nostaris fell. So I'm wondering yeah. what state that will be in after the launch. I remember going to... I did a quick... When Nostaris closed down, I did a quick joke video on my alternative channel and uh, just like, um, so Nostarius is closed down. Did everyone go back to retail? And then I quickly filmed it on uh, Kronos in Ironforge and just this swarm of people everywhere and loads of people under the guild name Nostarius Refugee. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so there is that. So, uh, yeah. I'd love to see some sub numbers with Retail WoW at that point. See if anyone actually did re-sub. I bet there's a, I bet there's three people that definitely went back. <laughs> I never <laughs> left. No. I'm still so, playing. Yeah, but I I called I called what uh, Nasarius were gonna do. I I knew it. In fact, actually, look, there you go. You tweeted it, there, didn't you? There, yeah, there, there's a link there. Mystic I, Meg. I, I, <laughs> yeah, because uh, they said, oh yeah, we're gonna make an announcement. What we're gonna do? I just went, I tell you what, I'll do it for you. You're gonna leak the code out. <laughs> Yeah, but well, it wasn't obviously it is that, but they also um, are making the server again. Well, they're kind of giving mm. it to Elysium. Uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't see that coming at all. That was uh, that was a bit of a crazy one. They yeah. um, they haven't actually said, unless I'm mistaken, they haven't said when they're going to bring the co the code out. No, down I don't the think line. They no, they just said they're going to give it to Elysium first then uh, everybody else gets it a little bit after. 
No one else gets the character database. They Which just is, get the cut. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, like, yeah. as if someone had the account database. <laughs> 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 that would be just a nightmare, wouldn't it? Mm, I wonder, no, how, I wonder how long it's been in the pipeline, though, of Elysium. Like, bef probably, you know, Elysium hasn't been around for that long. Obviously, Valkyrie WoW has. But Elysium mm. in its current form hasn't been around long at all. I think I think it's not that long since like the way it looks right now. It doesn't seem very structured, like the release and how they're going to do things, and so it's not like they've been working on this for months. I, I think it would be way more or way better prepared if that was the case. Um, I think they were. This was like a plan B, because they were hoping for some sort of announcement at, at BlizzCon and said they were going to do something if BlizzCon didn't announce anything. Mm. So I think this is this is not something that's been in the works for months. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't be this uh, unorganized. Mm. No, true. No. But it seems so. I don't know the behind the scenes. But uh, if I was to put my tinfoil hat on for a second, um, would I don't know? It just seems a bit suspicious that they met up with Blizzard and now they're they're risking, you know, potentially their livelihood by doing this because you know Blizzard know their names, they know their addresses, they know everything about them. Well, this is mm. not illegal. Well. Really, yeah. But they it's, could... the, it's only the code they're sharing, and the sh and the code is their property, really. So that's right. The code, the data. What would you do, nothing, really? Nothing to do with and it. Astarius also, is just a name. Yeah, and also we don't know who has gone to Elysium. We don't yeah. know. We it don't. Could be of them. It's it's highly doubtful. It's it's said quite a bit that Viper and Daemon didn't go because they're they're the two ringleaders. And they're the ones that two of the ones that went to meet Blizzard, and they're two of the ones that people are saying that didn't go to Elysium, because all we know is all, all they've said is a lot of the Nostarius volunteers went to Elysium, but they don't say oh yeah this amount of games masters this amount of testers this amount of devs went, they just say volunteers went. So we don't actually know how many of their staff and what staff actually went to. So we, it, it could be everyone that didn't meet Blizzard went on to Elysium. It, it could be that. I'm not saying it is, but mm. it's, it's yeah. possible. Yeah, definitely. Like If, if we want to put on the tinfoil hat, maybe we should also... Because Viper and Damon, they have been working on this for years. And what they could do, you could just make up new aliases and, and continue working at Elysium. Why wouldn't you do that? Why would you just abandon exactly. something you've been working Fair so enough. hard on? Mm. I would do that. I would just say, now I'm um, insert new name, right? Because uh, nobody really knows who they are. And even if they do, how are you going to prove that this new alias is this guy, right? Mm. Yeah, uh, I mean, that is difficult. Yeah. So that's what I would do. I would just keep on working on it. Um, we don't know if they feel like they have done their part or if they are actually going to work on it. Maybe they are going to work on it like behind the scenes, just code or whatever. Um, mm. I guess we'll see. The, um, did they sign an NDA with Blizzard when they went there? The, I don't uh, think so. No, I've, I heard that, that they didn't, but mm. you don't know, do you? It just, I mean, like, does, like obviously doing that could hinder potential Blizzard legacy servers because that Blizzard could be like, oh, what a bunch of cunts! Like we gave, <laughs> we gave them. A but chance. how is Blizzard going to prove that this new guy called Potato Head is Damon or Viper? True, true. But they, yeah, yeah, they obviously they don't know them. like the because the way they are going to script things, you know, they're going to implement code. And you could even go as far if you like really tinfoil. You could just use a VPN and send this from. Russia, send your code to Russia, you, you know, via a VPN to the new server. Um, there, you know, it's not the first time people are trying to be anonymous on the internet. Uh, people have their ways, so it, it's a possibility. I'm not going to say it's like that, but yeah, it, it, it's yeah. possible. So, but it, it, I don't think we need to know really. I think there are a lot of competent scripters and staff people out there. We just have to wait and see how the server actually runs. If it's better or worse, or what really, mm. you know. Are they yeah, cause putting any of Elysium's core in there? I think so. I think they're merging them, really. Mm. I'll, I would suspect they are. Yeah. Because uh, they're, they're, definitely, um, they're definitely merging the character database. So I don't see why they wouldn't... Um, you know, because it, surely it would be a really quick transition otherwise. They wouldn't have to take the whole server offline for 
like weeks and weeks at a time, just if they were just swapping cores out. Yeah, so, I think they also said like there, there is that because they were asked, "Are you going to do this or this?" And then they said like, "There's some things that we have to fix first, some known issues, mm. you know." Mm. So they are probably they're going to tweak something, and I think they maybe have something that was actually working better. Again, it's hard to really remember all the faults because it was so great. Um, I I remember a few faults with Nastarius. I remember the lots and lots of item duplications that used to go on, and the the mass gold rush that they had to quell very very quickly because there was so much money floating around because the item duplication just got so out of hand so quick. I remember seeing screenshots of people with banks. Full of like some of the most expensive items that you could find, and it was it was ridiculous. What are, so wouldn't so the, the Elysium characters wouldn't that ruin or mess up the economy? Why? Uh, potentially there could be more gold flowing around on Elysium than there ever was on Nostarius. Well, Elysium is like two months old. Nostarius is almost a year. That's true. I guess it would just be kind of like a it would just add on to it. It wouldn't really. Right. Yeah, because it would be absorbed. There's way more gold. Like there's way more gold farmers on Nostarius, the the old realm, than there was ever on on Elysium, really. So yeah. it's gonna be like a drop in in, in the yeah. ocean. It would be like a minor. That's not gonna have any effect. Like yeah. Yeah, the only way it would have it would be a problem is if, if like Elysium was farming Nax and they were on MZ. You know that wouldn't fit at, at all. But as this, I don't I don't see the problem. Hmm. Uh, some people might lose their name. I think that's kind of it. That's pretty much it. I mean, they got the because um, you said with Alex uh, in the video about the the gold farmers. Um, mm -hmm. You said they're all Chinese. Uh, someone said they're all Chinese, which is a bit racist, actually. But um, they. Yeah, I just said. Yeah, they're all Chinese. Yeah, oh, I, I, Chinese. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, no. Build a wall. Yeah, no, I what? suggested that we call them gold farmers instead because not all Chinese are gold farmers, but people tend to call them that. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think banning China is the way to no, go. No, definitely not. I've, I've played, like, raided and PvP'd with a lot of good Chinese players. Um, and it would suck. Like, imagine how you would feel if, like, Oh, the UK, lots of pricks there. We're gonna fucking ban the UK. You'd be like, oh, why do I have to get punished because Dodgy is a fucking prick? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, absolutely. you would be pissed, right? We're gonna uh, ban the Netherlands because they're always high in raids. So yeah, you know, you know, you know. would be fucking pissed. I'm I wonder if there's a way how they could find out like previous gold farmers that were on the server. Like maybe looking at the amount of gold they had in their bag or something like that. Like there must well, be. There are, there are ways to do this, and they have locks. They lock everything. They lock traits. They lock, you know, everything that's mailed, etc. And you know, they're probably just gonna go like, okay, if something is above 10k, we're gonna look at it. Something, you know, there are ways to do this. You'll be there forever, though. I, yeah, they they are gonna be there, but I think it's an issue. But there are so much more pressing concerns than gold farms, really, in my book. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't think they've ruined the game as much as so many other things. No. Uh, I think we I should thought... focus on getting the servers live first, and then we can talk about how to, you know, really get rid of. Definitely. Gold I've farms. always wondered. I've always wondered why it's so hard to get rid of gold farmers. I, I, I would have thought it should have been the easiest job in the world. Go to a gold farming website, buy some gold with PayPal. If you're the admin then when he logs into the game to give you the money you know who he is and then you just follow the trial so you just go right this uh, anonymous level one person just got gold given to him by this particular guild and then so that's the gold farming guild then you go right. back to paypal cancel your payment demand a refund for non-payment of goods which is so easy to do through paypal you've lost no money you worked out the gold seller is and you sure. find out his IP and everything. Yeah. Oh, you, you wouldn't do that because he's using a, a VPN. All right, yeah. Because yeah, and... there's the great firewall of China. <laughs> yeah, but... And I doubt, I doubt they would uh, send the gold directly from the person who's farming it. There would be like a, a third party. Not like a third party, but another character, wouldn't it? The farmer would farm it, send it to someone yeah. who maybe even sends it to someone else who then sends it to you. Or a throwaway I, I think character. The way, yeah, I think the way they do it to discredit anything like is if you put... 
you know, a piece of cloth on auction house for 10k gold, and then you buy it with another character. Mm. You know, you could just be like, well, there was a retard buying my my gold. I don't know. I think there are ways around it, or, or, or maybe several pieces of cloth or something. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how they do it, but if they are still around, as Dorchi says, it, I, I can't see the problem why it's so hard to get rid of, but they probably have some some methods since they are still around. That's mm. probably the worst part about having free accounts. Like yeah, so you can just create a buttload. Exactly, I think yeah. uh, like authorization through phones and stuff like that. That'd probably be great. It would obviously hinder the community, um, saying like you have to get a text authorization to, like, make an account or whatever. But obviously that would kind of handicap a lot of people. Um, yeah. But something like yeah. that, like uh, you have to have like a legit email and stuff. Or yeah. Something I don't know. I'm not the uh, developers. Um, but I'll be pretty proud of them if they can do a smooth launch. I really, really don't think they will. They definitely won't. Especially with the new release cycle of is the so the first of they never if they've still not given a date. It's just kind of like soon TM. Yeah. yeah, I think people are like in one month, but I haven't seen the data yet. So yeah, I've heard people say two months. Like yeah. There's there's a lot of people saying oh yeah it's going to be on the twenty eighth. It's going to be on the twenty eighth. So that sort of kind of coincides ish with roughly the sort of time scale they initially put out, and then they Q and A'd something a little bit different, I think. So, uh, like I said, like I said in my my last Australia's video, just take whatever date with a pinch of salt. Even if they come out and say, right, it's one week from today, it's going to be this date, they could get pushed back at any moment. So it, it's out when it's out, isn't it? Yeah. And even though, like, it's going to be out at some point, but if you remember back in the day when it launched, and it wasn't nearly as hyped as it is now, because back then you maybe had, yeah, I think it was like 6K at, at launch, mm. and that was insane, don't get me wrong. Now you have, like, I don't know if it's like 10 times as much, but it's, it's at least, you know, all the other players, like, mm. all the old players, and now all the new players as well. Uh, and if they're going to do the one with the only one realm at the time, that's going to be... This, yeah, I, I, I think I think it's stupid. They should launch all three. It's gonna be a nightmare. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I think they should even launch more than three. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Fresh, uh, fresh PVE would be nice as well. Well, they could they could always. I, I don't know the all the technical stuff behind this, but they could always launch way too many and then merge them together if it's necessary. In my book, That's but I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how how technical or. That is, um, but if it was possible, I would have rather have them launch ten servers, and then after a month, when they see like people coming down. And well, like, if if Phoenix manages to ser to merge servers, it can't be that hard. <laughs> That's if true. If they well, can do it, anyone can. <laughs> well, I lost my I, I lost my tier three shaman when they did that. I I think it was my own fault, really, because I didn't it, claim. It's, it's on the uh, actually all these characters were automatically transferred to the archangel, uh, the buried yeah. slate realm. But like oh again, like all the gear is now obsolete. I have a bunch of characters on there, which have level sixty rating gear, but they're it's useless. What yeah, am I gonna problem, do with a level sixty there? Yeah, the problem is I had full characters on my account on the Archangel Realm, so the account was already full. Yeah. Uh, when, they, when they did this, so and I think they had like a period of three months or whatever where you could appeal to get them on another account or whatever. But I I, I was I wasn't playing. When all this shit happened. Well, here's so, the thing: if if you now if because it happened to me, I have uh, accounts with full uh, with a full character list, and then I de decided to delete one because I didn't need that anymore. And then I saw a level sixty pop up, so there's actually characters below. Really? Yes, that's <laughs> what happened. That's when I found out. Holy shit, they're actually there. I just have fourteen accounts, but they just or fourteen characters, but they only <laughs> display four or, or ten. So yes. I would love to see my old shaman. He's try like, to delete one. I guarantee you, it, it's it's gonna oh, come that, back. Because <laughs> he's like he's fully decked out in each spec, uh, Nax gear and everything. You know. I know. I know. <laughs> um, and yeah, well, would we'll be fun. Give, to... give it a try. I should do that. I'm uh, right. curious about the uh, DDoS. Do you think they're gonna get DDoSed a shitload? Definitely. They don't run yeah. it. Get DDoSed oh, yeah. like by shit. everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, go Especially go, the servers go, go. who haven't got the code yet. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix is coming back. Angry. Yeah, but th that's going to happen because servers they do this to each other. They've done so for years. This is how they 
Well, I'm not going to say every server is bad, but this is just how people operate. And even if it's not an official service, even fanboys can do this, and they will do this. Um, and it's just it's just sad because one person can can easily do stuff like this. How are they going to uh, avoid that? That is like ridiculous. The best thing is like cloud protection, but mm. at some point you you your your shit is going to collapse because mm. um, it's just traffic in the end and. Of course, you can. It, it costs a lot of money these kind of services to be able to hold this kind of traffic. Um, so yeah, I don't know what their limits are regarding like financial stuff, but I just it it, it you just have to wait and see. Really, people get tired of it at some point. I hope. Mm. Yeah, I think. Um, so I think uh, was it you? Yeah, I think. It, was you were saying about them opening a merchandise store? Pretend, like obviously they they haven't said anything, but you said that'd be a really good idea. I think that's a fucking great idea because we yeah, said, was just, said that yeah, it's a brand. You can put it on fucking mugs and t-shirts, and it's a great way to to pay for the server. Hmm. Personally, I I because I, I was thinking it would be stupid to have a, a cash shop now that they have been branded uh, as the server would, would never do a cash shop. Uh, but that shouldn't stop them from earning money for doing something which a lot of people enjoy. But let's be honest, not many people are going to donate for nothing because they think, ah, somebody else is going to donate. Um, what's already with the t-shirts, like, I like the idea that it's going to charity, but I wouldn't mind the idea being permanent and having, you know, mocks and t-shirts and Whatever, yeah. really, and, and have them get the profit. I, I don't mind that at all because it's it's supply and demand, and people can have opinions on how lame it is to have a private server T-shirt <laughs> or whatever. Um, There's a lot sad T-shirts. Yeah, there is, and um, I, I just think it's a it's a nice way to show your appreciation of of something and support it. And if you really like it that much, like if you spend hours each day on this, like it's like listening to a band. I listen to a lot of bands, and I have band shirts. I know Hamster has, has as well. Never. I think, I think, I think Dodgy has some some Robbie Williams shirts lying in the closet. <laughs> uh, but you, you know, people buy stuff they they enjoy, and what well, I, I can't see the big difference between a private server. Really, if, if if it's something you enjoy, you should have a t shirt. And it's good coffee. for them. It's good for them because yeah. they deserve it, putting so much time and effort in it. Um, they shouldn't be spending their own money on keeping something up for thousands of other people who are basically just, you know, whining on Reddit or making stupid videos on YouTube like we are, <laughs> you know. And the great thing about it is it has no effect on the server itself. Like it doesn't yeah. collapse the economy. It doesn't give people an unfair advantage. So I, I it's actually a good idea. Merch. I think it's yeah. brilliant. I think it's a brilliant idea. I definitely think they should go forward with that. That's that's definitely something they should do. Yep. Yeah. So, so that's. Is there any more points in the stories we should cover? Because I think there's a few. Um, um, I have a question for you guys. Are you actually yeah. going to play there? Yeah, mm. I'm going to have to do a review. Can't miss out on that one. Poor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but are, yeah. are you actually going to like properly play there, or are you just going to check it out for review or videos? Are you actually going to call it your home? No, I no I'm not. I'm not going to play there. No. I am. I yeah, am. Yeah, work with. Yeah, I only have one problem with that, as you know, it's it's not, not something we have to talk that much about on stream. But you all know that I work a lot, and we all know how work and vanilla goes together, uh, not <laughs> very well. Uh, so I actually don't mind, and you know, this being postponed a bit because hopefully next year I'll have more time. But I'm not gonna be having a, any important role in a guild. I have tried that before, and I, that takes too much time. I'm just gonna be raider. Um, I have done all the content before anyway, but I just enjoy it. So I would love to do it again, even with the same fucking class. Um, ah, yeah. So I'm definitely going to do it. I don't know how much time I will get to sink into it. And I also have to somewhat prioritize making videos and playing because you can, well, you can do both, but then it's going to be like all leveling series or yeah. all that plays. And I, I, I haven't really. I'm not. I don't like doing that too much. I haven't really done it because it, for me, it's it's redundant content. Uh, if 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 I don't think I'm funny and I don't think I'm very funny, um, so I'm gonna leave that to the gnome and the the RP god, which is dodgy. 
<laughs> the um, I never. So when I actually played vanilla back when it was a vanilla, it was uh, I was like ten years old. No, <laughs> ten, fifteen, fifteen years old, maybe not that. But yeah, I you know I couldn't personally go out and make guides for vanilla because I never was a pro player. I'm still not a fucking pro. I'm fucking shit. <laughs> the um... <laughs> dirty, dirty clicker. That's it. Rejuvenation. The um, so I couldn't. <laughs> I never made Nostaris videos before anyway. Um, so it would kind of feel weird for me to make videos on it. Uh, I think I have been thinking potentially leveling 260 anyway because I haven't done that grind for 10 years. Uh, and it took me, I remember vividly, 18 days playing time back in the day. It was. Uh, I actually did it faster than you. I was like, holy shit, if he's. I had 16 and I was like, I took ages hmm. on my first 60 pack in vanilla. 16 days. I've got some I've got some old school screenshots on my brother's PC that are just like I saw them the other day. Like I took a screenshot of the first horde I saw in Westfall and I was like, Holy <laughs> shit, what the hell is he riding? Yeah. <laughs> I looked at my bars and I had like auto attack still on there at level eleven. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, I think I took like I it took me like four hundred hours to level, so that is about sixteen seventeen days or something like that. Yeah, the same. Yeah. Crazy. People are, doing it. It, people are doing it on retail in like nine hours, if that. Yeah. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, so I think I might. I'm going to give it a go. I might stream it. I did do some uh, streaming on Kronos, and people seem to enjoy that. Me, personally, mm. I wouldn't watch it back because I'm really fucking boring when it comes to that. But uh, <laughs> I'd probably potentially do that. But I'll still probably stick with what I'm doing. But we'll get to that in a minute. I think our topic is future of the channel. Unless, okay. unless we've got anything well, else to talk about Nostaris? I think uh, really we just have to wait and see because there's so many uncertainties really. Um, yeah. Of course we can discuss them, I don't mind. But I just hate going in circles around like about stuff we don't know really. Um, yeah. I think, I think I mentioned that in my video as well. I, I didn't, I even made my very brief because yeah, Nostaris is coming back but that's kind of it that we know, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's so much stuff we don't know and I don't see the point in and keep and everything. Yeah, because in the end, people are just going to be pissed because then they say, like, oh, these guys said on stream that it's going to launch tomorrow <laughs> or something, you know? Um, the, so, yeah. The only other thing I can add, I guess, I didn't actually, I still haven't found it. I think on there was an AMA Sunday, and yeah. people yeah. are saying that Very. there was more questions than answers. Like They were, there they were just answers. Basically but, reiterated yeah. what they've already said. All the answers I read were to questions well were answers we already knew so yeah mm. yeah that's what i thought it was, it was not, a waste of time yeah uh, well i have a i have so much respect for these guys actually doing this or at least attempting let's let's wait and see what happens but i i have faith in them um but i i, I let's not rush things and let's not uh, let's not try to because i i think they want to do these amas and and um Updates to to you know supply people with as, as much information as possible, but I d also don't think they should do it if they don't have any great information to share. You know, you know, mm. you know just for the sake of doing it, because people are just gonna get pissed and be like, "Oh, you didn't answer any good questions." Maybe they don't have that those answers yet. Right. And then they should and then they shouldn't do this. Um, but that's just hard to tell Reddit really because they have to get updates all the time. <laughs> um, so yeah. Yeah, I, th I think we can leave with this. I'm pretty sure that you all agree that everyone's eyes in the private server community is now on them. Because I, I know for a fact that all four of us are going to at least look at the new server. We're going to try and cover it. And I know there's oh, yeah. many other people that will that will do so. Because how many people, how many YouTubers have made um, videos regarding that uh, Nostaris coming back? Both us, people that play retail, famous streamers, everything. So... Alex. All eyes are on them, basically. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to cover it. I did have one last thing about this. Was uh, to Dodgy. You had said you were doing an Elysium review before all this shit. Yeah, that's was that's that any all good? gone down. Um, well, it's all gone down the toilet because I started. I said, right, I'm going to do an Elysium review. I made the character and then finished off the other couple of bits I was doing. And I went back to the, the, the day I thought, right, I'm going to go back to Elysium and start start it off. And then they went, 
we've got the Morse code. We get it. I was like, oh god. <laughs> I was like, well, that's that's gone down the toilet. I thought there's no because they said straight away because we're going to freeze all the all the characters. So anything <laughs> you make now doesn't carry over. I thought, and we're going to inject a whole different code in. So I thought, well, if I just review it now, I've wasted my time. Right. People already get annoyed already when you make a video and then like the next day one of the bugs I mentioned is being fixed. I was... I'm, <laughs> I'm not oh. going to make a I'm not going to make a video where everything is outdated. 